Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to enable on-screen keyboard in Windows 10. Um, Dick Evans is one of our um, article writers on Dave's Computer Tips. He wrote a really good one on how to enable the on-screen keyboard in Windows 10. And I wanted to do a video to show you how that was done and give you more visual, you know, Sometimes the video is more fun to some people and it's helpful. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I'll also put a link down below to Dick Evans' um, article so you can check that out too, just in case it gives you different ideas. And um, the, But that's that's what we're going to go over on this video. So before we get started, please hit the like button down below. We, it really helps out our channel. And hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new how-to um, videos we have. Okay. First thing we want to do, like always, we want. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One way I'm going to show you is the way uh, he did it on his article, kind of not exactly like he did it, but because I had some issue with finding a certain spot. So I'm going to show you how I did it from his article, and then I'm going to show you another way to do it too. There's two different ways to do this. So first thing we want to do is we want to go to um, our settings in Windows 10. And the way to do that, you can hit the Windows key and I, and that will take you to Windows settings, which is right here. Um, you can also go down the bottom corner, um, the left, and hit the Windows icon, and then just hit Settings. Same thing, gets you there, but the quick key is kind of nice. Now, where do we want to go next? Well, I found it. I couldn't find, you know, you're looking for the keyboard. So the easiest way to do this for me is you go over to the right side and hit Ease of Access. I found this the quickest way. And then you want to go over to the left and go scroll down until you see Keyboard. Click on the keyboard, and then right here at the very top, it says use the on-screen keyboard. Okay, so we're going to turn that on. Yay, it's on. So there's your on-screen keyboard. Ah, but we're not done yet. So that's how you turn on the on-screen keyboard, just in case your um, keyboard died on your laptop. This is a really, really helpful <laughs> way to get to still use your computer um, because laptop keyboards can be expensive to fix and very time-consuming to fix if you're doing it yourself. So this is a quick way to be able to still type on your computer if your keyboard died. Now, desktop computers, whoop to do you can buy a new keyboard for those most of the time and it's and it fixes it but on your laptop it's not that simple so this is the way you turn on the on-screen um, keyboard itself so but first I also want to show you he showed in his article how to add a desktop uh, shortcut to this so if you want it if it's not all the time you just want to get to it quickly I'm going to shrink this down I'm going to show you real quick let's get out of here so this is on now so that's going to be on forever so we're going to go down here and now we're on this so right click on the screen and then you want to go down to new and then to shortcuts now here you want to um, type the location of the item which is an osk so osk on screen keyboard makes sense doesn't it and then hit next and then name it and i'm just going to name it on screen keyboard very simple and say finished and there it is right there now you can drag this to the bottom and put on your bottom bar so you always have it there or you can um, right click on it and then you can actually pin it to your taskbar so it could be right there so I'll pin it to my taskbar it's, it's thinking about it there you go now if I go down here I'm going to turn this off real quick make sure I get that right so it's always there as you can see so it's really simple just in case your keyboard does go out on you at least you have this as a backup to pull out your keyboard so if I clicked on it let's get rid of this first so we're going to delete that bye bye now you're going to go down here and you click on that and it's going to open the keyboard see that's really helpful especially I've had keyboards die on me all the time on laptops and this is a great um, trick to use to try to you know so you can actually use your your computer still so there's another way to make a keyboard pop up which is not identical to this but you can go over here and hit the little hang on hit this little arrow not the arrow right click on the bottom taskbar and then right up here it says show touchscreen keyboard button so this is the quick way and then it's going to put this little icon down at the right it's going to show you that so if you click on that it pops up the keyboard the other one is you can move it around so it's not in your way this one is kind of there so but this is another way to get a keyboard to appear on your computer so you actually have access to actually typing on your computer but i found this very um, helpful i think it's a great article and i needed to have a video um, to show you actually how to do that how to make the shortcut for it and this way if you ever have your keyboard go out you have a backup plan so you can actually still have a functioning laptop instead of have to buy something because things are expensive 
this is going to save you some money. So that's how easy it is to enable an on-screen keyboard in Windows 10. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.